loves! Today I'm going to share with you guys a makeup tutorial that some of you have been requesting me to do. So here it is. I've worn this look a couple times on my vlog channel and I absolutely love it. It's my natural, effortless, effort makeup tutorial. So it's just a very natural look but it looks like I put some effort into it and I've been very obsessed with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you would like to see how it's done then So I already have on my foundation and eyebrows. Um, for foundation I use Bare Minerals Matte Foundation and I am in the shade Fairly Light. And then also I use the Mineral Veil Finishing Powder and that's just the original formula just to take away my shine and just lock all that foundation in and then also I used my Holy Grail Kate brow powder and basically it's just these two shades right here and I just mix it up and usually I would just shade in the outer parts of my eyebrows with this lighter shade just so that it's not too dark on the outer, um, outer half of my eyebrows <laughs> and then to seal up my eyebrows just to make it neat and everything, I used Essence um, Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This is super inexpensive and it works really well just to groom and tame my um, eyebrow hairs back to make it that to make it look like kind of nice and sleek and everything. And it's kind of gunky and brown in there because you know <laughs> my brow powder is brown, but I love this, so inexpensive as well. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what I have on my face right now. So next up, I'm going to go in with my Milani Liquify um, Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to tight line my eyes first. And basically, I just use the cap or you can just use like your finger or the end of a brush. And just lift up the eye like so. And then, oh, don't worry, this is my mirror here. <laughs> lift up the eye and then just tight line. So with the tight line, it's just going to give me an illusion of a thicker lash line and thicker lashes since I'm not going to put any eyeliner on with this makeup look. So next up, I'm going to use Origins Cream Eyeshadow here. It is 06 Coffee Buzz. It's the Ginseng Brightening Cream Eyeshadow and it's just a really gorgeous kind of brown taupey shadow. And I love this one because you don't have to use any eye primer and it just goes on very nicely and it doesn't crease. So what I do is I take a little bit on my ring finger here, just like so. And then basically I just apply it to my lids. I just start at the center and then work it out and then in as well. And then afterwards I pick up just a little bit more shadow and just keep doing that, just build on the color to my liking. And then what I like to do is, since I'm just using one cream shadow, I kind of like to make it kind of um, haze out on my eyes. So basically I take it, whatever's on my finger, I just take it up towards my crease area and it kind of makes like a nice um, blending effect so it doesn't look too harsh on my eyes with just one eyeshadow. So since I'm just applying one shadow like I mentioned, I like to take a little bit more on my ring finger here and I just like to define the outer V's of my eye. Even though it's just one single color, when you pack it on on like the outer V for instance, it kind of makes it more like a kind of natural smoky look even though it's just one shade. So that's what I like to do. So basically I like to start at the outer crease here and just drag the color up a little bit and then just drag it a little bit down towards the lash line as well and then you can have that little kind of gradient effect and then it just creates a nice kind of smoky defined more defined eye even though you're just using one shadow so that's what I like to do and I just like to blend it up towards the crease as well now to balance out my eyes, since it's kind of top heavy right now, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that cream shadow on my pinky finger here. And then I'm just going to start from the outer corners of my lower lash line and just apply it to probably, I say, I, probably a half of your eyes. And then just blend it up towards that color as well. And that way your eyes look more balanced and not too top heavy. And same with the other side. 
Next up, I'm going to curl my lashes with this e.l.f. eyelash curler. This curler is really, really good and it's so inexpensive as well. And what I like to do is just pump my lashes or the curler a few times and then I just like to hold it up like that so it gets a nice natural curl. And then same with the other side as well. Like that. Pump, pump, pump. And then up, pump, pump, pump. And then usually I like to go probably two times per side just to make sure my lashes stay curled all day long. And then I'm going to apply three coats of this Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. I love this for volume. And I'm going to apply about probably three coats to my upper lashes and then one to one or two to my lower lashes so since my eyes are on the bronzy brown side i thought i might as well contour as well to keep it on that kind of bronze effortless beauty look um, i'm gonna use tarts uh, park avenue princess amazonian clay matte waterproof bronzer <laughs> and it just looks like this and this bronzer is amazing i love it it doesn't make me look kind of orangey at all so i absolutely love it and i'm going to use my sigma small contour f05 brush and i love this because it just fits right in the hollows of my cheeks and i'm just going to pick some a little bit up and then just tap off the excess there and then of course make your contour face when you see that line that goes down here that's where you're going to contour so I like to start where my kind of hairline is and then just work my way down. And kind of work it up as well. So I'm going to pick a little bit more bronzer up and then dust off the excess. And then I'm going to contour in the center of my forehead, down my temples here and then basically connecting it to that contour that I did before and same with the other side as well connecting it down and then pick up a little bit more bronzer here and then what I like to do is just contour just down my jawline here so I start here and then just contour like so basically making a three so I go one and then like so so basically an imaginary three or two C's <laughs> and then same with the other side like that that's how I like to contour and then sometimes I would like to contour I like to contour like where my chin is as well and that's pretty much it I don't really contour my nose or anything and it just gives my face that nice bronzy kind of look to it. So next up, I'm going to add a little blush to my face. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Exposed, the blush. And then I'm going to use my Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. And I absolutely love this brush because it just, like, it fits really nicely on my cheekbones. So absolutely love it. So pick some up here. And then tap off the excess. And basically this is what I like to do. Just start where my cheekbones is. If you don't know where to apply your blush, basically smile or like with teeth <laughs> and then where your apples of your cheeks are, just touch it and then I just like to apply it just straight like that. So I apply like this. So dab, dab, dab. Just to create that more kind of contoured blush look because I applied my bronzer. I just want to keep with that contoured look. And then I like to do just like a little dusting on the apples of my cheeks. And that's pretty much it for the blush. Oopsie, I forgot to mention, exposed blush is pretty much like a natural hybrid between a blush and a bronzer kind of shade. It's like very nude, natural pink shade. Okay, to end this look basically i'm going to apply my favorite nyx butter gloss in creme brulee and if you have kind of lips like i do it's kind of like a pigmented pinky um pinky red lip i love this gloss because it kind of like nudes it out but then it still gives life to it it doesn't look too dead of a nude and it just absolutely gorgeous gorgeous, gorgeous gloss <laughs> And it goes on like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this natural, effortlessly effort makeup. Um, I absolutely love it when I want to look 
um, still put together but I don't want too much makeup on my face and I just think it looks very natural very pretty with the uh, soft brown eyeshadow and kind of the bronzy um, complexion with the soft pink lips I think it just looks very kind of um, just very natural but yet like I would take a second look at you <laughs> because it just looks very um, effortlessly put together so I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup tutorial and hopefully you will give it a try as well I know some of you requested it on my vlog channel because I've worn this look a couple times because I absolutely have been obsessed with it so I've been wearing it a lot lately so I hope you guys enjoy and I shall speak to you on my next video bye